World single player and co-op survival game, I just sincerely can't believe all of this is being made by one single developer. I made my very first video on this game at the end of 2021 and it absolutely blew up and the creator received a ton of support and feedback on what's best for his game. And it also got a ton of new wishlists from people on Steam, making it in the top 50 or maybe top 30 most wishlisted game on Steam, which is so awesome to see since these 4 months when I made that video, well this developer made a massive ton of improvements, showing off brand new gameplay clips in different environments, and he also made the big move of switching to the newly released Unreal Engine 5. So a lot of the clips that you'll be seeing in this video are from Unreal Engine 5, but some from Unreal Engine 4 too, so keep this in mind. This is The Relics, and The Relics looks like the kind of survival game that I'd spend a ton of time in with friends. It doesn't look like a complicated game at all, which is what I'm looking for from the survival genre. There's a story to discover, but you can also build your own house and little village with an expensive building system with water mills, electricity and a ton of really detailed gameplay elements. I'm really surprised he's actually able to create a story within this world. Normally small indie teams or just solo developers like this only go for the survival element, but there is a lot more to it with NPCs to talk to, missions to do, temples to explore and different creatures to fight. Keep in mind everything that you're seeing here is 100% subject to change and will be better over time as he's incorporating everything into Unreal Engine 5. In terms of functionality and gameplay features, it's really the forest-like with survival, also base building and protection, and a bit less centered on the R element. The goal will be to protect and make your base into a safe place where other players can live or yourself alone with your dog, and also upgrade the base in order to craft specific objects that will allow you to explore initially inaccessible places on the map, like getting the grappling hook and oxygen bottle, wall run boots and things like that which will make for some completely different gameplay opportunities. Each time a player craft a key object, he'll be able to access areas that will allow him to craft the next one, until reaching the end of the game. The game will have a massive end as is said by the developer, at least for the very final version. The developer still doesn't know what the content will be for early access yet, but it will be a lot of great stuff. It will also be necessary to collect keystones to access the final temple, so look for them in the world. In the relics, the players embody a theme that returns to Earth after receiving a message from the team who had stayed and who said they had found the location of the temples that houses the mechanism. The players are in a small shuttle at the beginning of the game and accompany some sort of a big mother ship which ends up crashing on Earth in several large pieces. The goal will therefore be to find the entrances to the underground temples slash caves while collecting clues left by the team that had remained on Earth. Now at its core, Derelix will have you chop down trees, find metal, and gather resources to build a cozy base to defend yourself from mutated wildlife. Use the power of wind, sun and water to generate electricity and power up your base by building water wheels, wind turbines and solar panels and brace yourself for weather changes that will affect your electricity production like frozen rivers stopping your water wheels, night affecting your solar panel production and etc. I'm actually really excited for this game even though it's made by a solo developer. I've been talking to him for a pretty long time time now when it seems really passionate about this project and I think it's gonna be a good one. There's just a lot of surprises and a lot of really detailed stuff that I haven't really seen in much more bigger survival games and it's just it's something that I really appreciate in small games like this. I just hope that it's gonna be alive for a long time. For more on the relics and new games similar to this one, make sure you support this video and subscribe.